Divine Choice Spirit Assistance Discussions Giving assistance to people who have lived on Earth and who have now passed into the spirit world. The title of this Spirit Assistance Discussion is Nathan's Premature Death and the Purpose of His Life, during which Mary channels Nathan, a young Australian boy who died prematurely before birth in 1990 from a pregnancy miscarriage who still is connected by his own emotions to his parents on earth and wants to ask Jesus about the purpose of his life and meaning of his existence. The session was recorded on the 17th of October 2017 from 11 a.m. in Wilkesdale, Queensland, Australia. Hello everyone, um, myself and Mary are here today. Mary's concentrating at the moment so she can channel. We're going to do a bit of uh, mediumship uh, initially today and the mediumship we're going to do is related to some discussions we've been having with children who are in the spirit world and who generally come from Summerland. So we've been had a similar channeling a few weeks ago which is just an audio and now we're going to do another channeling of some children who want to come and ask some specific questions. So what we're going to do is uh, have a chat with them and I think this particular spirit's name is Nathan. So we'll welcome Nathan and uh, have a chat with Nathan and the group of children that he's with regarding some questions he wants to ask. Hello. Hello, Nathan. Thank you for agreeing to talk to our group. It's our pleasure. We've come to ask you some questions mm -hmm. and the main question we want to ask is what was the point of life on earth or what is the meaning of having a life on earth? Mm -hmm. Lots of us didn't get a long life on earth and some of us didn't make it out of our mum's tummy mm -hmm. and sometimes lately we feel very sad about that and we don't understand why we feel so sad mm -hmm. and we don't understand we keep having a feeling of what's the point of it all yeah happening yep that's understandable and um, do you have a helping spirit with you What's their name? Jeremy. So Jeremy's along, come along with you? Yep. yep. He brought us because we've been having classes. Yeah. He helps us. Um, he said we could ask you especially these questions. Yes. Yeah. And when you say you've been feeling sad about, you know, missing out, is it that you feel like you've sort of missed out on something on earth? Sometimes, sometimes we just feel sad and we don't really know why. Yes. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, Jeremy says it's something to do with how, how we feel with our mummies and daddies. Mm-hmm. Yep. And we'll talk about that in a minute. Like, we feel like rejected. Yeah, yeah. And it feels like we're so important for them that we were with them. Mm -hmm. And now we're not, we don't understand the point of living or why existing yeah has jeremy talked to you about the soul and the spirit body or can i talk to you about some of those things first okay what do you know already about the soul and the spirit body and the physical body well we know we have a spirit body, yeah. like a Cause, body that cause I'm can, in now. Yep, so you can touch that now. Yeah, and we know that we had a 
the physical body that we went away from. Yep. And, yeah, we kind of know that, that, um, that we have, like, a soul or it's not just this spirit body maybe is what we know yeah. we know that okay we're more than the spirit body yeah well let's talk a bit more about that first shall we okay okay so so the way god created us and remember god's our real parent he created a soul and the soul is made up of two halves okay so you're one half of a soul does that make sense and there's another person somewhere mm-hmm who's the other half of your soul. Okay. So that's the first thing. And then when you incarnate or, or when your physical and spiritual body got conceived by mummy and daddy having sex, then what happened was the spiritual and physical bodies got created right at that time. And they just started from a little cell and then they started multiplying but you would already have learned a fair bit about that, how that happened. Yep. Yep. So now we've got two little bodies, if you like, growing in mummy's tummy, both of which are yours, mm -hmm. and they belong to your half of the soul. Make sense? Mm -hmm. But as soon as that process begins, your soul is now connected to the bodies that are growing in mummy's tummy, because that's the bodies that you're going to use for the first parts of your life. Does that make sense? So the first part of your life is the physical part of your life and the physical body is going to be used for that physical part of your life. And then once the physical body dies, then the spirit part of your life is going to be using the spirit body, So, which is what you're doing right now, using your spirit body. Make sense? Yeah. But you're still one half of a soul using your spirit body. Make sense? Yeah. Yeah. But as soon as you incarnated or as soon as you were conceived, there's a problem is that many, most or well, pretty much everyone on earth has, has emotional injuries where they haven't uh, done things harmonious with love in their life. And because of that, they have certain types of emotions inside of them that are out of harmony with God's view of love. And those kind of emotions start getting absorbed by you. Now, in the case of your mummies and daddies, most of your mummy and daddies had you because they wanted you for a purpose that suited them. So in other words, they didn't have you so that they could share life with you and help you develop and help you grow, but rather they had you because it was a part of what they believed is a part of their growth or their needs, if you like. Does that make sense? And, and this feels really bad when you're little when you have that feeling that you're getting taken from all the time and that you're there for somebody else's purpose, but nobody's really acknowledging you. Does it make sense? Mm. So what your grief is about is the fact that your, your mummy and daddies, for different reasons, mostly because of, you know, what unloving emotions they did not release before they had you, they decided to have children for their own benefit rather than for the benefit of the child. Now that still starts the incarnation process and the incarnation process has to start so that you can become aware as a little soul. Does it make sense? So the incarnation process has to happen in order for you to become self-aware. But as soon as you became self-aware, the main feelings you could feel was that people were taking from you and they had no intention of giving to you. Do you get that? Mm -hmm. And this is why you sort of feel like, you know, that your mummy and daddy had you for them, and now it's hard for you to feel like what you want to do because it feels like your only purpose was for them rather than for you to become one of God's children who knows what to do for themselves. So that's pretty upsetting, isn't it? Like to feel that somebody wanted to have you as a child only to suit whatever they wanted from you. Now, 
oftentimes what that does is it then causes you to feel really, really bad. And then that opens you up to getting sick or also to even dying prematurely in the womb because it feels really bad to be there. Go on, you can ask a question. So it feels like our only purpose for existing was for them. And now well, it's I... hard to understand what you're saying, yeah. but well, can I... it feels like um, I'll explain if we're bit, not yeah. existing for them and they don't, they don't view us like we're existing now. No. And if we're not existing, then why, why were we? Why were we created? What should we do now? Well, there's a few things you need to remember. Firstly, your mummy and daddy on Earth are not your real mummy and daddy. God's your real mummy and daddy because God created your soul and it's your soul that's your real you. All, all your mummy and daddy on earth did was create your physical and your spiritual bodies. That's all they did. And even then, they didn't really do it. They just engaged a process which God had already pre-made, which did that. Why, why, why does it feel like so um, much bigger than that? what they did, why do we feel so connected to them and not to any other parent? Well, that's the part of the problem is that you're not yet connected to your real mummy and daddy, God, and and still, still you're connected to the mummy and daddy who created your bodies. And the why? problem- Why, Well, that's because of the emotion that you have inside of you. We'll talk about that. If you can be patient with my answers, then you'll get to know- so it's okay. You'll get to know all, all of it, all about it. So what happened is that now that your mummy and daddy created your physical body and your spirit body, and they felt like they needed you for themselves, you then grow up feeling like you have to be connected to them. But then when you died, they don't want to remember you because they're they want a child and and you're no longer in their mind suiting their purpose and so they almost no longer think think about you or consider you and what that makes you feel then is like abandoned unwanted isn't it but the reality is that your real mummy and daddy god still wants you but you've yet to connect to your real mummy and daddy to know that your real mummy and daddy want you and the other problem is that your old mummy and daddy, the one that's on earth who created your bodies, they had a lot of emotions, which may now are inside of you because they chose to not get rid of those emotions. Now, none of that is your purpose. None of what's happened with your mummy and daddy on earth is your purpose. Your purpose, the whole reason why God created the process was that so that you could begin to become self-aware. That's the reason why the incarnation process was created. But I, sorry. It's okay, you can ask. I feel like I was aware of my self. Mm -hmm. And all, I don't really know what you mean by yourself aware, but I, I can only think of myself as their baby. I can only think of myself as their baby. And, yeah. and, and that's, uh, that's and, a problem. And okay. now they don't even think of me as their baby. As their baby anymore, yeah. But you're not their baby. You are God's child. You're not. Mummy, Why can't I feel that? 
Well, we can help you feel that, right? But, but partly it's because your mummy and daddy on earth created a whole heap of emotions in you which said that they were, you, you were theirs. You were their child. Does that make sense? So they, because of these unloving emotions that existed in your mummy and daddy on earth, and their feeling was that if we have a child, that's our child. We own that child and that child belongs to us. And so your mummy and daddy on earth didn't have any desire for you to know yourself. They only had a desire for you to know them. They only had a desire for you to do what they wanted to satisfy their own emotional demands. Does that make sense to you? And this is why you feel bad because now they're not even demanding that of you, but you don't know what else to do. Does that make sense? Right, that's right. We don't know who we are without without them yeah, yeah. and none of us none no. of us made it outside of our limits. yeah so all of you died prematurely and none of you made it to the time of birth and so you don't know what it's like to actually exist as an entity outside of mummy's womb does that make sense <laughs> and this is what jeremy is trying to teach you about he's trying to help you see that actually your mummy only created your physical and spiritual bodies. That's all she created, mummy and daddy. That's all they created. And your soul was already created by God. And so God is really your real mummy and daddy. Make sense? Now, God feels very, very differently for you than what your mummy and daddy on earth feel for you. God wants you to discover yourself and God wants you to enjoy yourself and become happy. God wants you to let go of all these feelings that you've had from your old mummy and daddy. Um, these are the things God wants to have happen. But your old mummy and daddy don't want those things because their condition of love is very poor. Now, the best thing to do is to contrast the difference between God's feelings for you and your old mummy and daddy's feelings for you. And the best way to do that is to actually ask God as your real mum no. and dad. I'm not allowed. You're not allowed? By whom? Who's not allowing you? Mummy and daddy wouldn't oh, yes. like it. They wouldn't like it. They know we can't. And I'm saying you can. And in fact, you would be much happier if you did. And this is about crying about losing your old mummy and daddy, really. And instead having a new mummy and daddy, one that really loves you and cares about you. That makes sense? Your, all your old mummy and daddy did was create your bodies. That's all they did. They didn't do anything else. And even then, they didn't actually do that. God's laws did that. So all they did was have sex and then you came along. And really that's all they did at this stage besides taking from you emotionally. That's what they did. That makes sense. But your mummy and daddy God, your real mummy and daddy, he really loves you. And he only would like to show you that if you let him. But at the moment, you're not letting him because you're afraid that your old mummy and daddy are not going to like you if you do it. That makes sense? Yeah. <laughs> and in my mind, your old mummy and daddy should not be considered because at the end of the day, they're not mum and dad anyway. They're not who created your soul. Why do they think that they are then? Well, this is because a lot of humans have incorrect uh, viewpoints of having children on earth. It, almost every human on earth has an incorrect viewpoint about a child. And the problem is that most people on earth don't want to give those viewpoints up and they don't give those viewpoints up until they pass into the spirit world. And frequently they don't give up those viewpoints until they have progressed into the other spheres of the spirit world, even above where you are. <sighs> 
Now that's not God's fault, but that's the person's fault. You know, that's their choice that they're making. But a lot of people on earth, almost everyone on earth makes very bad choices, particularly when it comes to parenting. Make sense? And so they always try to teach the child that you're, you're, I'm having you, you owe me. I, you know, I've cared for you, you owe me. You're my child. You know, I want things from you. And that's one of the main reasons why many people have children. It's not. We have the best to thing. be a certain. It feels like we have to be a certain way. Yeah, but it only feels that and way we from have them. To give them. We have to give them things. Say that again. You have to give them things. Yeah, we just yeah. have to be a certain way. They. But you mean that we, we didn't stay with them because that was so much that they wanted us. Is that what you mean? That they were so wrong with what they wanted from you that it felt really bad for you. And the way God designed it is that if it feels really bad for you, you don't want to be there anymore, which is understandable. But what's happening now, even though you're not there anymore, you're still connected to them emotionally. Yeah. And so that means you're still absorbing some of their feelings about you. Can you see there's different chains coming from you? Has Jeremy shown you those coloured things coming at you? Shall we do that? Firstly, we see what's coming at you from your parents on earth. No, nothing. That's what hurts me. They had another, another one now. Yeah. And they care for that one and they don't care for you. It's almost like they've forgotten you completely. Yeah. Because you, to them, you're just something that they needed and, and because you weren't there anymore then they needed someone another one they needed another child yeah yeah and that happens frequently but it's not right it's not right from god's point of view from your real mummy and daddy's point of view from god's point of view she doesn't want you to feel like this i understand that makes sense that, um, yeah Jeremy helped as well, like, to, like, I, I understand now, yeah. Can I just uh, take you a bit further into it, though? You can feel from your real mummy and daddy, from God, her feelings, and if you could feel her feelings, then I think you would like to have her as your mum and dad rather than have your mummy and daddy on earth as your mum and dad. At the moment, it's like you still want to have your mum and dad on earth even though they don't want you anymore. Yeah, I feel like, I feel a bit angry, like there's no point to me if I don't have my mummy and daddy on earth. And I feel And that's not trapped. true. That's I feel not true. locked up. You have been incarnated, and what that means now is you have the ability to be self-aware, and that means you have the ability to discover what you want and to do what you want. And you do not need to listen to your parents on earth and what they want anymore. You don't have to listen anymore about it, and you don't even have to listen about what they don't want anymore either. Does that make sense? Because they are not really your parents. They just created the two bodies, that's all. And the mistake is believing that they are still your parents when they're not. You follow me? Now, almost every person who passes from Earth believes that their parents from Earth are their parents. So it's a big mistake that everybody has to believe that their parents on earth are all their parents who have passed over but come from earth are their real parents because the reality is god is your real parent she's your real mother he's your real father no one else is so how do we know that though how do we know that god? how do we know god 
the way you get to know God is about allowing yourself to feel about God and, uh, and allowing yourself to feel about God being your real mummy and your real daddy. Aww. And you can ask God about that. So you can go, you can go, God, if you exist and you're my real mummy, can you show me what you feel about me? And then be open to feeling those feelings. Does that make sense? And that's all you need to do. And she will show you what she feels about you. You want to try that? Yep. So if if God, your real mummy and daddy exists, so you say to yourself, I would like to know what you feel about me. And you have a feeling coming from you that you'd like to know. Does that make sense? So do you get a feeling? And it feels a lot different, doesn't it? What does it feel like? <laughs> sort of happy, sad. Yep. And why is it happy? It's very nice. Yeah. And I don't have to be a certain way. That's right. That's right. And <laughs> it's sad because... I don't understand why it's so sad, but I feel so sad. Can I explain why it's sad? Yeah. Because the contrast between God's feelings for you and your parent on earth's feelings from you is very, very different, isn't it? Yeah. And it feels yeah. like that's the feeling you've missed out on, isn't it? Yeah, and it hurts more. Yeah. Yeah, because there's a big difference between your parents on earth who created your bodies and your real mum and dad, God, and, and what they feel for you. There's a big difference between the two. Now, what if we ask your real mum and dad what they feel about some things? Would you like to try that? Okay. Right. Um, so let's ask God, do I have to worry about my mummy and daddy on earth anymore? <laughs> what, what, what's God say about that? No, I don't. You don't. Why not? We ask God why. Why we don't have to uh, worry about him anymore. Because I'm, I'm allowed to have my own life. And I'm, <laughs> I'm special and different. I'm, I'm unique. Yes, I'm unique. you're unique. And you're allowed to have your own life. And you need to discover what you desire. Isn't that what? Yes. Real mum and daddy saying to you? Exactly. Yes. And I can, I don't have to keep looking at the earth. I can look at other places. Yeah, there's a lot of beautiful places way beyond where you are now. And you could be living there instead of trying to go back to earth and worrying about what mummy and daddy on earth think about you and all that. Yeah. So when did you pass? What year did you pass? Can you remember? Have Jimmy told you? 1990. 1990. Yep. So it's now 2017. So for the last 27 years, you've been worried about your real mum and dad on earth and what they want from you. It's terrible, really, isn't it? <laughs> you know, I could never get away. I could never get away. Cause... <sighs> Cause they abandoned so you and then you still wanted them. That's what I thought I existed for, was for them, and yeah. then it's so, it's so not like hard you wanted to understand. Them. It's not like you wanted them, but you felt that your only purpose of existing was for them, yes. which is something they taught you in the short time that you were in, their, in, in your parents' you know, womb on earth. That's 
the thing they taught you that you're there for them right but what does your real <laughs> mummy and daddy feel about that what does god feel about that are you there no. for your mummy and daddy no in fact what does, <laughs> what does your real mummy and daddy feel about whether who, who should be there for whom they should have real, been there real mummy and daddy should be there for me yeah real mummy and daddy is there for you yeah but also this mummy and daddy on earth what that should they have done treated me like like my real mum and dad yeah. wanted me to go beyond them wanted yeah. me to be unique and, and different yeah. yeah and to, to discover them. what you want yes yeah and help you do that to have adventures yeah 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 <laughs> Thank you for helping. <laughs> yeah, that's my pleasure. There's other questions you could ask your real mum and dad about things, hey? Like, how many, how many places are there to live at the moment? That'd be a good question. So many. So many, yeah. And each one's better than the net, than the previous one. So, you know how you're in Summerland, you're at a place called Summerland, or where Jeremy helps you at school? Yeah. Yeah. And the school you live at's in the top of the first sphere. It's, it's, yeah. That's where the location is. So, is the second sphere better than the first sphere? Yes. Better, it gets better. It gets better, yeah. So the only thing that keeps us attached to the earth and attached to the location where you're in is these feelings about your mummy and daddy on earth that need to be let go of. Does that make sense? You need to have good cries about that. But your real mummy and daddy will help you have good cries about that. God will help you have cries about that. And any time you need to ask a question about any subject, you can always get an answer from God on the subject. So even if Jeremy's not around, God will be able to tell you what's going on. Make sense? Yeah. So God's with you all the time if you want God to be. But Jeremy is not necessarily with you all the time. Sometimes you have other teachers come along and sometimes you have lessons in other places and things like that, right? But God is with you all the time. You can ask God whatever you want. Now let's ask God whether it's necessary for you to live a life on earth. Do you have to live a life on earth in order to be happy? No. Mm. It just seemed like we did. Yeah, it seemed like you did, but the answer is no. You don't have to live a life on earth in order to be happy. Right? <laughs> so that's good news, isn't it? You don't have to tell me how like be connected to your mummy daddy on earth or come back to earth and live again on earth in order to be happy. That makes sense? Yeah. You don't need to worry about all that. Do you need to let go of your sad emotions to be happy? Let's ask God that one. Yeah. Yeah. So the answer to that is yes. <laughs> And I suppose the question becomes, well, how do I let go of my sad emotions? Like, what do I do? What does God say about that? <laughs> just like I'm doing. That's right. Just have a cry when you need to have a cry. That's all you have to do, right? Yeah. So that, that sorts out the feelings you have. Because after you have a good cry, you'll be able to let go of the feelings and then your real mummy and daddy's feelings for you are going to be pretty nice. So you'll be able to feel those feelings. Yeah. And whenever you want to like, feel more of those feelings, you just ask your real mummy and daddy, I need to have more of those feelings. Can I feel what you feel for me, please? Make sense? Hmm? 
And what about discovering uh, what you like doing? How, how do you do that? What did your real mummy and daddy say about that? I have to feel me. Yep, that's one thing you have to do, is to feel you. So that, that means feeling what you like, isn't yep. it? Yes. <laughs> and what else do you need to do? And explore things. Yeah, have a lot of different experiences. <laughs> that's all right. And Jeremy's been helping you with that, right? Mm -hmm. You go here and you go there, and even this experience. How many times have you done this before? This is the first, first time you've talked through somebody? Yeah. So that's a new experience, isn't it? There's a lot of people in the spirit world who've never done that. So that's a new experience. <laughs> so you have as many new experiences as you can, and then you realise what you like doing. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense? Yeah. And then once you know what you like doing, then you can go ahead and do it. Yeah. Yeah. And your real mummy and daddy can tell you when you're thinking something that's not right, you know. That, so, so for example, you could ask questions of your real mummy and daddy like, are my parents on earth like loving people? I can ask that question. <laughs> Not towards me. No, no. Yes. <laughs> they have some... They have some love, don't they? There are some nice parts and some not so nice parts. That's it, yeah. Everyone on earth like that. Yeah, but yeah. not nice. It wasn't nice for me. That's right, yeah. It wasn't nice to you. Yeah. Yeah. Is that because of just your real mummy and daddy or has something happened to them? It's us. Got that. Yeah. They, they. Can you see they had mummy and daddies that weren't they very nice? Problems too. Yeah. And then that caused them to make choices and decisions, some of which were their own problems, but some of which were from their own parents on earth in the previous generation. And you can see this generation after generation hasn't learnt to be very loving, right? That's what God's showing you. <laughs> Feels very sad. <laughs> yeah, and the, and the situation on earth is pretty sad. Actually. I'm very sad that it all, <laughs> it was a lot that ended up on me yeah. for a little while. Yeah. That's what got to show me. Yeah, and it shouldn't end up on you, should it? Like, it's not right that mummies and daddies on there <laughs> don't decide to do that. Yeah. You know, that's, that's not nice on their part, that they decide to put bad feelings into their children. That's not very nice. But a lot of them have had that done to them, and so now they're very desensitised to doing it to others. But sometimes too, that it, it's because they have different feelings and different addictions that they want met by having children. And they haven't learnt how to be a real parent. You have a look on earth, have you ever seen any schools that teach people how to be a real parent? <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I need a rest now. Okay. Yeah. It's good that you were brave. How does everyone else feel? They're all, they all can feel those things too. Sad too. Mm -hmm. We all feel sad now. And the key is to have your cries that you need to have and then you have your sleeps to catch up, you know, and have some cries if you need to have some cries again. And But talk to your real mummy and daddy about how you feel and this will help you a lot. <laughs> Thank you for introducing us to our real mummy and yeah, yeah that's, that's my pleasure. And I'm sure you are going to enjoy your real mummy and daddy, Nathan. And you and I are brothers, right? Because we've got the same mummy and daddy. <laughs> I just feel so sad now. <laughs> yeah, I need to just have some cries. It's okay to have some cries. Jeremy will help you. And there'll be some other spirits who can come now and just help you have your cries. 
And when you have your cries, you'll feel happier afterwards. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> see you for it. See you for it. See you later. <laughs>